The human rights issue deals with every facet of our existence. The mind, the soul, the body, the arts, the sciences, they all have a part to play in lifting up the dignity of the human person. If we interviewed somebody walking down the street and said, are you in favor of human rights? I'm positive they would all say yes. The question is, what do these human rights mean? What do we mean when we talk about human rights? We've got to make sure the Catholic voice is heard. In an age where there's so much competition between rights claims, the very heart of the matter is that human rights originate from the design of God. The Masters of Human Rights is a program at Catholic University. Our goal is to introduce young graduate students into the fullness of human rights, both in terms of the human person uh, and then also in terms of tradition and history. I'm really passionate about pro-life issues, but I also love doing theology and philosophy. So the idea of a program that combined politics and law with the sort of roots in a Christian anthropology was really, really attractive to me. It'll give them ways of providing traction for social and political policies that are based in a true understanding of human dignity. And also, how do we improve the quality of life? This institution will really bring something new to the table, and that is an understanding of human rights rooted in the deep tradition of thought that takes us back to Athens and to Jerusalem. There's a unique convergence of resources here in Washington, D.C., and in particular at Catholic University that I don't think is matched by any other place in the world. To place this at Catholic U in Washington, D.C., it couldn't be more appropriate. There's no other Masters of Human Rights in the country that looks at it from the Catholic perspective. It gives a framework for helping to understand what authentic human rights are all about. In order to have peace and security in the world, we have to protect human rights. How we can claim them and how we should foster and protect them.